When you hand over an issue to God, you do not have to live to remain troubled because you have handed it over to the one who is in charge of all things and whatever is in his hand is safe and secured. There is no shadow of doubt for whatever is in his hand. There is an accepted pattern of how the dating and courting process should be and when you retain your worth, you would experience and have it how it ought to be. But when you have lost value, you would have to beg to be accepted and instead of being celebrated and loved, you would be tolerated without say. It's the duty of the man to seek after you as a lady and run after you until he has been able to woo you. It's your role as a woman to be chased after and not the other way around. The scriptures affirm this by saying that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. It did not say she who finds a wife, but he who finds a wife. No man would spend effort chasing or running after something or someone that has no value. It's your duty as a lady to remain chaseable. Do not lose your value by becoming a public material. You must keep yourself and be the virtuous woman every responsible man would want to run after. You must be a treasure that must be sought after. Allow the man to see to come after you. Do not lose your self-respect by being the one to go after him. Relax and settle down. The man for you would come chasing after you. Run with God for him to direct you to the right one as a man. You will not run and chase after the wrong one. No man would go after a lady who has not spent time in building godly character and there is no way you would be seen when you hide yourself in your father's house. These two factors must be taken into consideration and if you want the right man to come running and chasing you, you must be an excellent woman. You must be a woman of capacity, intelligence, spiritual and morally balanced. That is when good men would run and chase after you. That is how you can build value and have a reputation. You must be truly skillful and hardworking. Find out where God wants you to function and then go ahead to build and develop skills that would be useful to the man that God would send to your life. You must be intelligent to be able to raise godly children as you cannot give what you do not have. It does not have to be classroom knowledge. You can train yourself to be intelligent without having formal education. Be a woman who can understand and interpret things. Learn skills that would make every man want to stay with and around you. You must be an excellent housemaker and keeper. This is what would make your husband want to come home every day. You must be smart to carry out a meaningful conversation with your husband. He wants someone he can come home to discuss things with. But when you do not know anything or cannot reason and flow with him, he would seek after who can communicate with outside the home and would come back and be mute with you. You are the woman and you would be the brain and planner for your home. You must learn how to manage and plan the home so that you can smile at the future knowing you have prepared well for what is to come. Your children would need to draw and learn from you. No reasonable man would run or go after a woman who cannot positively influence and impact anything on her children. Unlearn, learn and relearn to be a great and noble woman every man would want. There was no doubt that Boaz loved Ruth because she was hardworking and a manager. Sarah proved herself competent before her husband, ever ready for any task. Rebecca proved her worth at how skillful and smart she was to fit into the work of her future husband. King Ahasuerus needed a beautiful and intelligent queen and got that in Esther. Moses needed a balanced and strong woman who could tend to sheep and people and got that in Zipporah. Do you have the character and skills for the kind of man you want? No man wants to marry a liability that contributes anything to their life. They want a woman who has content to roll out. You cannot be valued and regarded as more precious than jewels, golds and rubies when you do not have character, skills, intelligence and God. You must be balanced to be able to attract men who are competent and diligent. No woman or lady would accept a man without vision, focus and direction. 
You must be a man of character and ability. You must be strong, determined and competent. You must know where you're going before a woman would accept to follow you. When you don't have these things, you would keep running and chasing every woman around and none would answer you or look your way. As a comedian rightly said, the book of Job comes before the book of Romans, which means before you go chasing after a woman, you must ensure to have a means to sustain her and the family to come. Find your place in God, get your assignment clear and run with it. When you are on track, God himself will assist and lead you in the chase and wooing of the right lady for you and it will be so easy for you to spot her and convince her. Adam was not idle when God gave him Eve. He was a faithful and hard-working man. Isaac wasn't idle or a lazy man when Rebekah came. Jacob was a strong and hard-working man and proved that to his in-law, Laban. Moses was a strong man and a protector and proved that he was a hard-working man to Jethro, his father-in-law. <laughs> you cannot be a lazy man and expect a queen or a princess to accept you. You would only be able to attract your type. What you are is what you can attract and get. The input you have made in your way is equal to the kind of person you would receive. It would be easy for God to send your spouse your way and even into your field and make the chasing easy for you like it was for Boaz. Find your place of assignment and go on developing that place. God would order your spouse to that location and the wooing and chasing would come easy and quick for you. Get on with the assignment. Be responsible, be hard working. Gather and build capacity because no woman wants a lazy man who cannot take care of her immediate and basic needs. Get your hands working, get your feet moving and become an excellent and responsible man before you can chase and run after that lady. The scripture says, Do you see a diligent man? He shall not stand before mere men. He shall stand before kings and men of influence. We can rightly put this as, do you see a skillful, hard-working and focused man? He shall not settle or marry a commoner. He shall marry a great woman, a princess and a noble woman. This applies to a woman also. Do you see a skillful, excellent, virtuous and a smart woman? She would not end up with a common man. She shall be joined to a great man, a nobleman, a man with vision and focus. She would not settle for less. Spend time as a man in developing yourself and means of survival and the lady of your heart shall be given to you as a reward. As a woman, spend time in developing and building character and skill as a godly woman. And God will give you a faithful and responsible man that will bring out the best in you to explore and cultivate you. You cannot afford as a man to live casual or become a mere man and as such you must work your way through to the top. You must rise above the crowd and must stand on your feet and a labor for you to make hay while the sun shines. You cannot also afford as a man to settle for someone who would not strengthen you or make the labor and journey easy for you. You cannot settle for someone who would add more to the pressure you already have on you and for this reason, you must do the chasing and running with God. As a woman, you cannot settle for someone lesser than what you aspire for and because of this, you must do the needful on time so that you would not miss out on the man God has reserved for you. If he sees you unfit and unprepared, he would walk away and may never come back. Guard yourself so that the right man would run and chase after you. Remember that flies also chase after dirt. Develop yourself and the right one would come your way. Find God and find your assignment and he would help you to run in the right direction.